Here I've got my wing set back here on my table. Uh, I've, I've got my first couple of ribs already done. I've got two of them down here on this edge glued together, uh, glued down to the wing. Uh, I went ahead and started my, my next one there. Uh, to make sure that my ribs were, um, crap, what's the word? It's like 3.30 in the morning. I'm, I'm tired. Um, oh, I can't even think of the word. You know, to, to make sure that they're straight up and down, uh, make it square. That was difficult. Uh, to make sure that my, my ribs are square, I, I, uh, I've just got a piece of, uh, it's a composite plastic or something or other, but it's got four square edges. And I'm, I'm, putting, I'm putting my ribs down on my line. I'll put my piece of composite plastic on here because I know that it's square. And I'll, you know, uh, hold, hold the two of them together. You can see like that, and get them, get my rib to where it's. That's weird. Um, get my rib, you know, they, they, they're on my line, to where I can just see, uh, just just a little bit of the black from my mark. Grab my hot glue gun. This is just my my, my uh, just my regular uh, low, low, low low temperature uh, hot glue gun, and I just put a squirt right here, a squirt right there. Come up here to the front, maybe. Do this left-handed. I'm not left-handed. Just run a neat little, just a, just a thin, thin, you know, a thin, thin, thin bead down there. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, cer it's certainly not going to be load bearing. It's, it's just the, the rib is just going to be there to, to hold, um, to hold the airfoil. Um, okay, now I've got that square edge there. And another stick of hot glue. Where's my hot glue? Hang on a second. Sorry. Wasn't prepared for that. Run another bead down the other side. There we go. Set for a bit. Uh, it looks real good. So there we go. I got uh, three, three. Well, I guess four, four of my ribs in place. Um, what I'm going to do now, before I do many more of them, I'm going to get the pieces of PVC, run through these three, uh, and then I'll just keep feeding on the rest of them as I go along. So, just a second. So there we go. I've got a couple more of the ribs slid on with my PVC pieces just kind of in here. I mean, the PVC pieces aren't glued in yet, but they, they will be uh, at, the, at the end result. Um, you know, when I get all, all the ribs glued in, I'll just put a little bit of hot glue here around the holes where the, the PVC is, oh, excuse me, <coughs> where the PVC is run through. Um, Seeing as how I've got my my PVC pieces run through here, I'm really not concerned with with using my my square block um, to make sure that my my ribs are square. Um, the PVC is actually folding them in place pretty much where where I want them. Um, I just need to make sure as I'm going along that I have. That I've got the, the the butt edge of the trailing edge again here against my aluminum, um, that I'm not hanging over too far. So we've got this piece here in place, kinda. There we go. And go ahead and put this one in. Now again, just just running thin thin bead of hot glue down there. You know, because the PVC is, is now in the way, um, 
you know, I just kind of get where I can get. And uh, the actual airfoil will hold the, what I should, you know, should it'll, it'll hold all the ribs in place. And I probably don't, don't really need a whole lot of this anyway. Uh, you know, you don't need a whole lot of the hot glue anyway. Because, uh, you know, when you get the top of the wing folded over, you know, everything's going to be kind of squished in. And when I, when, when, when I am ready to fold it over, I was thinking I, I would use some of that uh, um, 5 or 10 minute epoxy. Just mix some of that together and put it here on top of the ribs. And that was, that was how I did that, that, that sample piece that I was working on. Um, when I got all my ribs in place, I was ready to fold the top over. I just mixed up some of that epoxy. You know, you, you, you've got some working time with that epoxy. And then when it, when it dries and hardens, man, that stuff is awesome. And you know, I figured I would just run that here on the top of these ribs and fold that over and then you know, maybe put a couple of 2 by 4s uh, just for some weight you know, to hold this down. But that's pretty much how I'm doing my, my ribs there. Let me grab the camera here so you can see. Get my stool out of the way. There we go. Back this out a bit. And that's, that is the inside of one section of my wings. Um, you know, I've got, I've got it doubled up here uh, where this piece is going to meet the next piece. And then first rib, second rib, third rib. My PVC pieces are in there where, where they need to be. Um, I'll, I'll get the rest of these ribs put in and we'll consider uh, getting the top folded over. So uh, stick around. Well, uh, un un unfortunately, so something I just noticed that the, the battery on my camera unfortunately is running low. Um, it's kind of an old battery. I've had it for quite some time with this camera. I, I, really, I really need to get over to Best Buy and get a new battery for it. So I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut this video off here. And um, so, I mean, we, you know, as far as the first section of the wing, I mean, we've got, I, you know, I, I've gotten a lot of it accomplished already. Uh, as far as my drawing, I, I showed you what I planned on doing with that. Uh, we've got the wing uh, covered with the packing tape. Got three pieces of them butt jointed together. We've got them, got, got them marked out to where the ribs are going to go. We've got the, the top of the airfoil kind of pre-bent. So... That, you know that that part's cool. I've got a couple of the ribs in. I've got my PVC pieces in, and then um, my battery's running low. Um, I guess that's the way it goes. So anyway, um, keep 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 watching. I'll, I'll, I'll certainly uh, I'll certainly keep uh, posting pro uh, progressive videos. Uh, camera battery allowing, of course, and um, we'll just kind of go from there. Appreciate you watching. Uh, stick around, and we'll we'll get this sucker finished up. Thanks, guys.